obviously, you know, the fumble early in the game. Can you kind of take us through what happened on that play? Uh, not really much to it. Uh, I hadn't made a play before that. I was just been trying to make a play and trying to uh, put the team in a good position by end up fumbling. And kind of had to forget about it and move on to the next play. With a game like today where it's, you know, the, the margin speaks for itself, how, how do you move forward from today? Uh, it's just about getting back to the drawing board and uh, watching the film and looking at our mistake and just getting back and just kind of forget about it on Monday get next, and get on to the next game because at the end of the day, for like a one-game season, you don't know what's going to go on in, a, in the game that comes up. It's a lot of emotion, but Sunday and Monday, you got to get back on track because we have more games to play. So watch the film and get back on that, and then we'll get ready for next week. Ty, you guys were 5-0 and up on Ohio State, a chance to go 6-0 and now to be sitting here 5-4. and Just just how frustrating that is that, and how do you kind of make sure it doesn't snowball further from what it is right now? Uh, I would just say, like, it definitely is a frustration because everybody wants to win, obviously. Like, we, we practice hard. We do what we do just to win. But obviously, it's a frustration, but it's a team game. We just got to keep practicing, keep going hard, and keep believing. At the end of the day, it's belief because if we believe, then you can do anything you want to do. So just the belief and just getting back to the drawing board on Monday and just trying to get this win next Saturday. Ty, we certainly appreciate you coming out to talk to us after that game. What was the mood in the huddle as the game wore on and the offense didn't really catch fire? Uh, we still had a belief. Uh, there was no doubt or anything like that. We were just trying to make plays. So we were just getting the call from our coaches, and we still had belief. I was in three year, three was in my year. We was in the offensive line year, and all the guys. So we still had a belief. Uh, there was, we still got to go out there and fight. There was no quit in the team, I feel like. But it just is what it is. We just got to move on. What do you think was the issue for the, the reason for the offensive struggles? Uh, we, just, we just couldn't get it together today. It was just one of those things where. We were up and down all day, and we had some turnovers. I had a turnover, that was my fault. But it just is what it is. We just got to keep going and move on, fix our mistakes, so it just doesn't happen again. Holding the ball tight whenever you got the ball in your hands. Uh, just anything like that, the small details, that's what ended up biting us back in the butt. So just small details, holding the ball in your hand, covering the nose of the ball, stuff like that. Holding the ball before you go back to the ground when you're in a crowded area. So little things like that, the little details that we missed out on. I've got a different type of question. On the lighter side, what did you guys think of those uniforms? I think they were sweet. <laughs> I, I, as I've been uh, here, I don't think we ever wear a yellow uniform. No. Nope. I mean, I wore a black you, uniform probably like twice. Actually once. Once. Against Georgia Tech a long, long time ago. Yeah, so I yeah. probably wasn't even born by that. So. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. It was smooth. And uh, the gold rush, I liked it a lot. Uh, and the crowd, which was really with you guys early. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was smooth. Uh, the crowd, I just hope they keep coming out and keep cheering us on because mm -hmm. we're going to keep trying. And I hope you guys have belief in us because we're going to keep believing. We're going to keep playing.